What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear here on another fantastic Hobby Hump Day, the literal second best day of the week. So today I'm gonna show you a sweet little tutorial on how to paint without using paint. Spiky bits. Make sure you stay in the trenches by becoming a supporter over on Patreon and also scoring yourself some free miniature swag in the process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel check out our site spikybits.com for all the hot hobby tutorials news rumors on all your favorite hobby topics and head on over to the longwar.net that's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content early access videos and more become a veteran of the long war today you're probably like wait what that kind of defeats the purpose well a while ago I did a tutorial on how to do gold trim for larger models like Titans and you know I kind of remarked in it I was like you know I probably did this a long way um, it turned out great but it took like forever like eight hours to do the trim on the night Titan to blend it and everything like that and I was like man it's got to be a faster way and you know I did some research I talked to some people and then finally Kelsey Haley the uh, 40 the best 40k history and player in the history of ever came down he's like hey man check this out I'll use sharpies now I'm like wait what and he's like yeah check it out and he like showed me and he just like pulled out a Heldrake and started doing the trim with a sharpie marker and I was like there's no way that's gonna look good and then he handed it to me and I'm like Ugh, it looks so good <laughs> how did you how did you do that are you a wizard and it turns out sharpie puts out a line of metallic permanent markers now there's some paint ones out there and those aren't the ones you want you want these metallic permanent markers they sell them in like a two pack of each for a total of six from Amazon for like six or eight bucks I don't even remember but you know literally this could be all of the sharpie markers you ever use for your whole like painting career right here for like six bucks and it really does it paints the trim very well I mean you, you can't you can't be sloppy about it but you can paint the whole trim on a night titan in under an hour you know if you're focused and you really got your head in the game kind of you know really focus in on it and not you know a lot a lot of outside interruptions and then you can even hit it with a little um glaze or wash at the end to kind of um kind of bring it back and kind of blend it together and hit the little studs and everything and we're going to show that all to you today on this tutorial because i i mean it's just it's such a huge time saver with these markers here and they almost work for smaller shoulder pads and things like that. They, they'll definitely work for Terminator size stuff, but on regular size Marine stuff, it's still a little too close for comfort in my opinion. Um, you might have to do some touch up work more than you would have to do with the Knights, which I'm also gonna show you what to do when you when you mess up and you get metallics all over that, uh, that nice crisp uh, airbrushed armor plating itself. So there's a lot of tricks out there and yeah, you will have to use a little bit of paint, but chances are the amount of time that you're gonna save, you're just gonna be like, wow, how did I know about this in the first place? It's amazing. So let's jump right into today's hobby tutorial. So here is the tech, the six pack of Sharpie mar markers straight off Amazon. And I already uh, stole one of the silver ones out of there for writing some little love notes to some of my Patreon supporters. But as you can tell, this will probably last a while. So you got the the, tri the tetrad, the triad right here. You got the bronze, you got the gold, and you got the silver, and that's all you need. And this, this pack will last you a while. I mean, I, it's good stuff here. So as you can imagine, you're gonna start out with a bronze base coat on all that gold trim right there. So there it is, nice solid flat panels that are raised over the blue. Um, man, it just doesn't get any easier than this, but you don't, you know, you wanna be on your A game when you're painting. Turn off all them cell phones, all those videos, all that stuff. You need to really get in here and you need to concentrate because remember when you're painting, you wanna be moving the model and not the marker. And if you start manipulating the marker, you're more apt to mess up. So here, just get a nice solid base coat all over those little rivets and everything like that. It's very easy. It took 12 minutes for me to base coat everything up to the shoulders and another 12 minutes to base coat the shoulders. Next up is gold, obviously. There it is, super good marker. It's the lighter of the two brassy looking colors. Now this time we're gonna get in there and we're gonna go about halfway, you can see right here, we're gonna go about halfway down on the trim itself because we're gonna create that transition. And there you can see it shinier in the light. 
we're gonna create that transition between the brass and the gold. Now here's the top part, I didn't really show you me painting or base coating this, but you, you just imagine it took 12 minutes to do the whole thing up to the shoulders, about another 12 on the shoulder. So very easy stuff right here, just get in there, just nug it out, pay attention, go slow, but you know, but have fun with it. Then we're gonna highlight with silver, uh, another no-brainer, right? <laughs> so here's the silver color here. Uh, you shouldn't get that one mixed up, I don't think, right? Uh, I had, I didn't have any problems. I only say that because I mixed up the brass and the gold uh, when I was uh, working on this project. So there's two different ways to do this. You can line it or you can edge it, kind of like you edge around a, uh, a sidewalk with a weed whacker. So here you can see I've already lined it. Um, and then I just went back in and hit some of those rivets here. Just just leaving a, a, almost a, a little stroke of silver on a quarter of the trim right there now you'll notice like underneath those heads there's there's these weird spots to get and that's where you can do the edging method which is basically you take the flat area around not the tip this is the side you can see right there you just running it right across the edge and it's grabbing <laughs> that paint and it's easy as pie so right here you can stop your, your titan looks good like you don't need to do no wash you don't need to do nothing you're good to go at this point it was that easy it will probably take you about 45 minutes to do a night size titan with all the base coats and the two highlights but i wanted to wash it a little bit and i wanted to wash it down with a little bit of a glaze not quite not quite a wash and not quite a glaze kind of in between because i still i didn't want to go back and do another base coat with the, the markers I just wanted to do a, just basically hit it with some of this and create a little additional definition and transition between the brass and the gold. So I'm going to add some of my Future Floor Wax Tech here, which is three parts water, one part Future Floor Wax to the mix, and kind of make almost a faux glaze, like I was saying, not a full on glaze. It's not going to be transparent, as you're going to see when I mix it. And again, I am not mixing up enough to do the whole Titan. I'm just doing one section of it. So right here, you can kind of see through it, but you kind of can't. So it's it's very it's very glazy, but it's also kind of almost still a wash, I feel like, because you can see in the edges it pools and it blocks the light like through to the uh, the white paper underneath. Hard, hard to do. It's, it's a little touch and go. You can just do it right out of the bottle or you can just do it, you know, with... Um, a little bit watered down either or but here you can kind of see what I'm going to talk about it gives you a little bit more um, I guess time to kind of work uh, your magic with it so I'm gonna get in here I'm gonna get all these flat panels I'm gonna make sure I try to get around the little rivets um, the areas that it doesn't dry around rivets I'll probably come back with a um, with a, a little fine detail brush and just kind of hit it with some straight uh, Agrax right out of the bottle, but basically just good to go. I'm just gonna get in here I'm gonna use my pinky to kind of brace and give me an additional support um, Because the 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 trim is actually, you know, it's kind of thin um, It's not thin enough to where I, I just feel like I can just get in there and just go nuts with it But I so you still need a little bit of control. So that's where the pinky comes in. It's not because I'm fancy It's because I just don't want to mess up <laughs> You can also see where my thumbprint actually got on the blue plate it right there in the center and we're gonna fix that actually after that that's actually the next step is to do a little bit of touch-ups and cleanups and here as I go back you can start to see more and more definition as I go back over certain areas so that gives you the flexibility being a little bit thinner um, with that wash slash glaze of Agrax so step five the touch-ups like I was talking about there's gonna be places where you just get gold on the blue because you weren't paying attention or you didn't rotate the model instead of uh, the, the, the Sharpie itself. Here you can see a couple of big splotches that I just couldn't let go. So I'm gonna grab some of the touch-up color, which is a little bit of a mix of, air, of the airbrush paint itself and a little bit of black, like right here you can see. It's a little bit watery too because I want it to blend in. And if it takes two coats, that's, that's okay. I'd rather have it take two coats than be too thick or be not the right, not the right color. So here I'm gonna cut down the edge right there and I'm just gonna leave it sit and it should blend right back in as long as I had really good consistency uh, between the paint. And then you can see here where my thumbprint was, I did a couple of chips and then I came back and I highlighted the bottom of it to create this uh, false depth with those two highlight colors you can see in the foreground or in the background of the picture right there. I think it was a uh, Lotharin blue, no, te Teclas blue and the highlight is Lotharin. So I went in there and I tightened that up. Little ancient Chinese trick I learned from Kenny over at the Next Level Painting YouTube channel. And here it is. 
Um, now I have a little caveat here. I did not airbrush the majority of this model. It was, it's on loan from a friend, uh, Lucas, who just gave it to us. And I was like, hey man, uh, do you mind if I, if I just get in there and uh, do some of the trim work? You know, I got this Sharpie tech I wanna try out. And he's like, yeah, man, go for it. And I'm like, word. So I just got in there and tightened it up. And that's the, uh, what you see is what you get. I think it's a done project. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.